jumping back in, I think this is going to be the final episode on whatever length that I make it for this particular day. Um, and I never really imagined myself sitting here in front of a microphone commentating over something like this. Um, and it really is exhausting work. And uh, hats off go to uh, Aaron and Danny of Game Grumps fame because they really do put in some effort because they just sit here and do this for hours and hours at a time. But again, they do have one another to play off of, so one is not doing more speaking than the other. Um, I'm thinking about what I really want to do with the time that I have left. I don't want to learn, well I could, but that might very well crash the game, but it will be less that I have to do in the next cycle, so we'll go ahead and shoot for that. We'll go ahead and um, just go ahead and raise Woodfall up and learn the Sonata of Awakening. Um, just kind of get into some more of those racism and assumption parallels. I, I think that'd be another good note to hit and just kind of knock out in this episode. Um, okay, going back as we're trying to get to that sequence, because it's going to be kind of a retread up into that point. Um, the I wanted to talk about the five stages of grief that are um, in this whole thing. Um, of course, the swamp, which is the first area that you're supposed to explore, and just <laughs> the retexture here kind of makes him like a cow like straight up but um the first stage is going to be denial in the five stages of grief this the swamp represents denial and that's been acknowledged by nintendo whether or not you consider link being dead and majora's mask being essentially a dmt type fever dream um Nintendo has acknowledged that each area on the compass point represents the five stages of grief. Uh, so that's denial, anger, bargaining, uh, grief, and acceptance. Or I know grief isn't quite in there, but I know acceptance is the final stage. And acceptance, I think, is represented by uh, either the canyon or the town itself. I'm not entirely sure. I'll need to do some more research. It's not that hard to sort out. I could probably look up on my phone, but I just want all my attention here. Um, again, just kind of just dig into this scenery. Great texture work. Um, in early N64 games, uh, the water is essentially one repeating texture, one on top of the other, and just really raising the resolution of that just makes it look beautiful, crystal clear, almost uh, on par with, I'd say, a GameCube game. Now, you cannot get into the Deco Palace as a human being. They will not let you um, again, the undertones of racism and classism, species, and whatever you want to call it. Um, they're telling you, don't, don't do this, don't do X, don't do Y. Um, but we're going to go into the main chamber here. Um, you can go ahead and uh, get a heart piece this way by taking a picture of the Deku King. Okay, so if you take a picture of the Deku King, you're going to make sure his entire body is in the shot. Did the game crash? Did the game crash for real? No, okay. It just took forever to do that. Okay, it's just good to know that uh, it takes forever in emulation to do that. But, let's see. Uh, I haven't seen your face before. Are you visiting? Usually I don't know the likes of you in the chamber. See, even within... There's still... There's racism and classism in this game. Um, where it is... Well, and we can get into that more later. And there's really just... There's a caste system going on in every sort of domain of Termina, uh, whereas here it's royalty versus the plebs, uh, even past the race. So even though they disrespect outside races, they're disrespecting themselves as well. He insults the royal family, and I'll show him what happens when you do that. That foolish monkey is up in the cage, take a good look at his face. Essentially, um, in summation, all... The monkey and the princess knew that something was wrong when the when the water became poisoned here. Uh, and he's just like, yeah, you know, you just blah blah blah. Okay, okay. Stupid dialogue, yes. Oh my god. Okay, there we go. Yeah, I understand you. I got you. I got you. I got you. Um, they essentially went off to try to stop. Uh, and it's cool that the line of sight because in Ocarina of Time when you were patrolling, the line of sight was more of a cone. Uh, 
it's good here that they, especially at night, that you have this advantage where you can see specifically where their line of sight is and where it ends. But uh, the, the patrolling guards that were in um, Gerudo Fortress, they had sight in a cone and it was completely unpredictable where they were looking. Um, and it's kind of solved here, but essentially what has happened is that the uh, the monkey and the princess went off to the temple to try to figure out what was going wrong. Uh, the princess was, of course, captured by the monster. Because, uh, you know, every, every uh, Zelda villain needs to lay like, siege on a monster. You, know, you can't have a Zelda about boss battles. What kind of Zelda game would that be? Um, but... Uh, yeah, so the mon monkey's being wrong wrongfully accused. Um, Kangaroo Court, another thing that Midora's Mask is touching on. Uh, this is where we learn how to use magic means to give us our first one free. And we're supposed to be stupid and wasted over here. But like, oh, you know, here I, I, I see soft soil. Let's waste our magic bean. But now that we know how magic beans work, we can get them from the vendor uh, that we gave the title deed to. So here we just want to get caught because that's the quickest way to get thrown out of the castle. Um, so... On the second day, you know, let's just go ahead and do that. On the second day, because then we won't need water. All this water here is completely unusable because it's poisonous. It won't be able to water the bean. But on the second day around noon, it begins to rain. So we can just go ahead and go into our inventory, plant the bean, and then get the second day. And that's another cool element is that um, it's continuously raining on the second day, always. And you can always use that to your advantage, like in this situation, like I'm about to. So play the double song of time. This will be the first time I've used this in this playthrough. It's highly useful as long as you can manage your time well. Um, and don't accidentally skip over something that you need to do, but I've already got all my ducks in a row. So, I cook the crows, and it should start to rain. Um, so let's do this, speed this up a bit. Because I do not want to backtrack and get a bottle of fresh water. There's too much like work and I'm so tired from staring at the screen. Like, oh my god. Okay, so when does it start to rain? It's not as sensitive as I thought it would be with the Analog stick being smooth and slick. I'm trying to practice my spin attack. I, I feel like I'm right back in N64 territory where it was a complete accident. I swear I went through at least five N64 controllers in my entire lifespan of that console just because of how it didn't really make sense how it was just a plastic ball sitting on top of another plastic ball. Um, it was just bound for failure, but it was the first analog stick, so I will give it credit for that. There we go. There's the rain. Okay, so you said to our advantage, we'll just go up here. Up here. Everyone else is in the house, and they are here trying to be quiet, I guess, but they're not doing a very good job. Of course, we have our platforms that are floating on nothing. I don't have. If I have nuts, I should be able to float over these and kill them this way, I think. But if they knock me out of the air, I'm going to be so pissed. God damn it! Oh, oh well. Wasn't worth it. The payoff wasn't worth it. Traditionally, I just use bubbles. Mm, it looks like that's going to be our safest bet. Did you, uh, give me a yogurt product? No, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. I think in the, in the 3DS version they added an aiming reticle for it. 
I hate complimenting the 3DS version and then uncomplimenting it, and I just want to give up. I just want to give up. I just want to completely give up. Oh, uh, you're just a poor deprived child, aren't you? I have never, I have never fallen that many times, ever.